I don't know what you've seen, but I feel like at first it was funny. And now I'm not into it. Did someone get stuck in the rain today? Morning, guys. Duke and I got stuck in the rain this morning. And we both look like two little sweet drowned rats. But I kind of like that cozy rain feeling. Like I can hear the rain outside. And it's not cold. Like it's kind of like a soft rain. Feels really, I don't know, feels really special actually, weirdly. This morning, I have the girls coming over today and I'm gonna make some lunch. It's about late morning now. Yesterday, Pia and I went live on YouTube and I actually kept all my jewelry pieces. I'm gonna show you the, um, let's go into my office. <gasps> the office is so messy, I can't actually. Let's just go around this way. I mean, it's not that bad, but it is quite messy. <laughs> Let me grab my, sorry, we've got the ventilator in here. I'm gonna grab the ear, the necklaces that I was wearing yesterday. I took them off to shower and they're here. They're so cute, Pia did such a good job. These are the ones I'm gonna wear today as well. By the way, if you wanna watch the YouTube live, which was so much fun, it's an hour long. I didn't realize it was so long. I just was having the best time and I loved reading the comments so it's actually saved on my YouTube channel now so you can go watch it. I'll link it down below or just go onto my channel. This was one of the necklaces. I love that. And then this is a little sun. It's so pretty. So yeah, if you want to watch the live that Pia and I did together, I like unboxed her surprise her surprise things that she chose for me in last week's vlog, then um that's on my channel. My jewelry is on. Now let's decide what I'm gonna wear today. Hmm, I always keep, by the way, my favorite things on my rack. I've done a what's on my rack IGTV. So maybe I'll wear something from here today. I mean, I'm not gonna be going anywhere major, am I? So, hmm, maybe actually I'll pick a jumper. My jumpers are all in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I might wear this little guy today. This is my little fluffy purple jumper on me. Got these mother denim jeans on as well. Nothing really interesting today. I'm not gonna put on shoes because I'm not leaving the house until later when I'm going for dinner with Guy and I don't need a bag because I'm at home. You guys, you are not going to be ready for what I have to show you. Every single year, Dior smashes it with this and I'm so excited to share this with you because these are so special to me. I've kept these for the past two years that they've done them. I've kept them in like such pristine condition. I'll show you the one that I have still from last year in like pristine condition because these are so, so, so special and they do sell out. So if you do manage to get your hands on one, let me know. This is the Collection Couture Rouge Dior Limited Edition for Christmas. And this is the Golden Knights this year. So every year they come in this sort of gold packaging, but what's bespoke about it is the pouches i'll show you oh my gosh i've seen pictures of this one but i haven't seen it in real life yet oh my goodness it's beautiful look at this wow oh can you see this it has little buttons on it so it has stars little dots like little comets cd i mean this is so special you could use it as a clutch if you wanted to i've seen some people do take everything out and use it as a clutch just to show you i bought this upstairs to show you because this is last year's one i keep them every single year and i love them i feel like they are so beautifully made like they're so so luxury even look at this zip listen to this ready I mean, it is a sexy, sexy zip. Ooh, oh, I love it. Right, well, you're probably wondering what's inside. I'll tell you. First, it's a pouch like this. So you get a full-size lipstick with five different refills, five different Rouge Dior refills, and they're beautiful, beautiful shades, and you get a mirror in the compact as well, which is a really good mirror. You know, sometimes you get mirrors in makeup bags, and they're kind of they're almost like a bit dented because of the makeup bag. This is such a sturdy makeup bag or clutch that it doesn't, the mirror doesn't bend. So you don't like get dizzy using it. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but it's really important to me that the mirror stays straight rather than it's curved. So I can actually see what I look like and not be like, oh, I look a bit distorted. <sighs> I take this really seriously. <laughs> Inside is such a clever concept because you get your lipstick, which is this one here. And not only is the bullet snowflake, can you see that beautiful, beautiful bullet? I mean, it is so special. 
it's so crazy what they do every year they just they think about how they can make it better and then they times that by five like it's amazing so not only can you change the actual lipstick and the bullet to any other color if you look at this i'm just going to swap that in there you go you can change it to whatever you want how clever is that i just switched that over really easily like magic you don't even see it happening Ah, there we go. Let me show you the different shades. So, like I said, six different shades. I'm gonna show them to you. This is 772. Wow. So this is, I would say, like a light mauvey pink. This is 459, and I think this is the shade I'm gonna wear today. To recap, this is what we do. We take this off, we take this off. So you get the little bullet, take out the outer packaging, put the little bullet in the main lipstick container. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. Ta-da! Oh, it's so hard to ruin these bullets, isn't it? But I do want to show you what this looks like, looks like on. This would be the perfect Christmas gift for any lipstick-obsessed person because not only do you get this incredible... <laughs> I mean, it's just so beautiful, it's breathtaking. Dior pouch, but you get six iconic lipsticks all housed in such a gorgeous way. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. That's the shade I'm gonna wear today. I feel like that's the most me shade. But I will say that all the shades in here are really wearable and they would definitely suit all skin types and tones. This one is 999. I've spoken about this red so much before. This is the iconic Dior red, which is gorgeous. I'll put in a picture of me wearing it on the screen. And then this one is 988, which is kind of a bit darker and a bit deeper. The formula of them is really gorgeous as well. I feel like they sit really nicely and they hug the lips really well. It's just an all round winner. This is available now on Dior.com. I'll leave a link to it down below if it hasn't sold out by the time this video goes live. I really hope it hasn't so that you can get your hands on it because I mean, I would just get my hands on it just for this because it's so gorgeous. But then as a bonus, you get all the amazing six, six lipsticks inside in such a great container in this refillable format. So, oh, wow. It's so, I could, I could talk about this all day. Thank you for coming to my TED talk on the collection Couture Rouge Dior. I feel like I could speak about this all day. I feel like I could literally hold a class on how much I love this. I'm gonna keep this really safe. I use the lipsticks and then I keep the pouch really, really safe so that I have my collectibles year on year. Oh look, you can kind of see the difference between them. This is last year's and this is this year's. I definitely prefer this year's. I feel like the Dior logo is so much bigger, but I feel like I have my makeup treasure trope or my favorite makeup collection throughout the years my favorite like limited edition things and these go in there like I use the lipsticks and then the pouches because I'll never be able to get my hands on it again and every year they do a different one it's just so 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 special Woo! <laughs> probably gonna change my lipstick tonight and show you a different shade later it is now lunchtime for the gang I've made rice for 15 people literally but <laughs> I do eat it today in here I have put, have, just take a look, take a whiff. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. In here I've put one cup of Tilda Basmati for one cup of water. I also added half a cup of raisins and half a cup of flaked almonds. So I'm gonna try flip this thing. Flip test. Wish me luck. I always get so nervous before it. How many times in my life have I done this? But <laughs> Oh my god. How amazing is that? That looks incredible. <gasps> I get so proud of myself every time. I'm like, go me! Go me, well done. Look, mommy, I made the cake. <laughs> I told you I made rice for 15. We have salmon to go along with the rice, but I will do the olive. Oh, it's a good it. one. It's a good one. <gasps> yes. Look at the steam. Look at the inside, it's all fluffy. Little fluff lapagus. I feel like the song in the background's like um like a food network. Yeah. Like food <laughs> food porn. For your kiss, I'm alive. Every touch since been real. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen these like in print yet and my goddess curls will mean absolutely nothing to you. But let me just show it to you anyway and then explain. Look how pretty it is. I'm not gonna show you the full 
thing. But there you go. Basically, I've come upstairs to my bedroom to tell you. You might remember that I did a Valentine's Day kit. It was basically a kit of my favorite products at the moment all at a bundle at a huge huge savings so we have brought out a new one which isn't out yet it's actually on pre-order it's coming out on wednesday and it's the goddess kit i'm so excited about it because we took on all the feedback from last time we've made it better and bigger we have so many full-size products in there and actually in it i mean i shouldn't like i shouldn't show this before wednesday but instead of a box to house all the products we've actually had an amelia liana makeup bag made which is my dream makeup bag and it's exclusive to the goddess kit i can't believe that actually happened it took so long to do i can't even begin to tell you but anyway in the kit is the card and the card arrived just now basically had the cards approved on email and then they went straight to the warehouse and i was like wait i want some cards so i ordered like five for myself i, I just want one i want one on my vision board i just wanted to see it and hold it and i don't know i just wanted it now i've come into the room because in oh my god i have one minute until i have this call with clay de beau po, and nikki makeup's joining anyway <laughs> I wanted to really quickly, I have one minute to show you the bag before the call. That's a sneak peek. That is all you're getting. I won't reveal what's in it yet. If you are interested, you can go onto the pre-order page. But it is, because I'm going to do a whole thing about it when it actually launches on Wednesday. This is just for like curious people, I guess, who really want it on pre-order. But, <laughs> anyway, where was I? Yeah, I'm getting distracted and excited because I can't believe I'm talking about it. But there is a 66% saving, I believe. The kit is worth over £300. And it has so many gorgeous products in there. You have an amazing cleanser, an amazing, amazing face mask, some gorgeous lip products, a blush that I love so much. If you're curious to know about the kits, and I know loads of people were asking if we're gonna be doing another one, check it out and I will tell you more about this little guy that I have designed. Can you see my logo on there, my name? Can you see my name? Ah, it's cool, isn't it? And it's just a beautiful color, it has a little handle on it. Anyway, I'll tell you more about it soon. But that was that was a very long-winded way to tell you what just arrived with some cards. Oh my god, I am running to this clay de po. This is 2020 in a picture. I am ready to go for dinner with Guy finally. I think I changed my outfit about six times a day. And I do that more often than... Uh, not <laughs> but I mean you got so many clothes <laughs> want to wear them right I desperately need to wash my hair I've been trying to use less heat on my hair so that means I'm like trying to prolong my washes as much as possible I mean it doesn't, it doesn't look horrific right <laughs> I'm wearing pretty much everything I got in my farfetch haul last week so I have my Nanushka bodysuit, which I'll link down below. I think my code is valid for another like three weeks, so I have 10% off Farfetch. Then this Jacquemus bag, which I love. I just think it's so sweet and small, but I'm not going to be able to put my vlog camera in there, so that's useful. Then I've got my Pia necklaces on. These are now going to be called the Pia necklaces, aren't they? And these jeans, which are from Mother Denim. I'm going to wear my plain black boots, I think. You're never going to believe this, but I'm actually 10 minutes early. Okay, I'm at Harry's Bar, I'm going to pay Leo, I'll be there, well, I'll okay. be there probably in seven minutes. Okay, I can't believe I'm gotcha. here on time. Madness. I know, it's madness, isn't it? Madness, bye. I didn't see that coming up. I know, I know, me neither. I'm literally never, ever early. Well, sometimes I'm on time. Most of the time I'm on time. Sometimes I'm a bit late. I'm never, <laughs> ever. 10 minutes uh 12 minutes to be precise 12 minutes early i just had to like send guy a pin of where i am on whatsapp so just as proof these are the shoes i'm wearing in the end these cassidy i noticed they have bought them back this year again i love them they're so sparkly guy literally has the world's best face mask you're gonna zoom in you need to, to see what's going on there it's me doing a covid test it's actually 
staged that reaction. No, that's all good. Hold on, I can't actually, like, like, my eyes get steamy. Like. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's legit. That is literally the best face mask anyone's ever seen. We go need to get our hands on those because they're so good. Do people laugh when you wear that? And the whole time, they're like, what's your mask? And like, it's me doing it over time. Me. <laughs> Yeah. And they look close and they're like, oh my god, that really is you doing it with that. Can I take it off now? Yeah, you can do it. Oh, Where did you get that made? Someone made it, by the way, it wasn't even me. So, like, a friend of mine made them because this picture was so funny. It's so funny. And, um, I need and now it's a brat. Do you want one? I'll I give you one. You know what's so funny is also like your sweet chin. No, be nice to my chin. I don't look very chiseled, do I? Oh no, I've got two chins. I ordered a risotto, which is looking very, very brown, actually, surprisingly brown. We have our favorite spinach, carrot, thank you. Thank you so much. Can you admit you just ordered the spinach for like something green on the side to yeah, look healthy? Yeah, <laughs> he always does that. What do you mean, those? <laughs> those are for me, I like carrots. Look how beautiful Mount Street is at night. It's so pretty. Evening everyone. I just got back from dinner and I'm about to do my new hair routine, which is where I sleep in a hair mask at night. I've done this for quite a while, but I actually like really keep the hair mask on and I'm doing scalp treatments as well. I know I've been on quite a little bit of a hair journey recently and i am feeling like a bit insecure about my hair at the moment like i know i know it doesn't look bad um it's just not as like thick and lush as it used to be and that really gets me down because i feel like i i don't know i never i never really took advantage of my hair like that before i never really thought like oh my hair's so thin now or like is that just has never really been something that I thought about or had insecurities about. There was a brand that I wanted to try. I have two hair masks that I use, but Mon Pure um, is a brand that I use their scalp um, exfoliator, scalp scrub, and I wanted to try their scalp serum. I have one of their scalp serums, um, which I really, really like. I wanted to try their follicle boost hair density serum. I've just heard so many amazing reviews about this and honestly at this point I'm like so willing to try anything but I think I need to apply this on clean hair so I'm going to try this tomorrow morning after I've washed my hair. I have really really high hopes for this. I love this brand. I feel like I really trust it and I trust the science behind it as well but for now I normally use my Sicily hair mask but I'm out of that at the moment so then I have this Kerastase hair mask and I have this Sen Science hair mask now this one I think feel like I'm almost out of as well I mean I'm going through hair masks like it's water so I bought this one with me like out of the cupboard and then I was like is that gonna when I picked up I was like is that gonna be enough in here maybe so I might do this one tonight and finish this guy up but I basically shampoo my hair in the shower I don't go all the way to the root because it just makes me cold when I sleep so I'll shampoo like mid lengths to ends and then I'll put in my hair mask and I'll sleep with it in so then what I do is I literally clip my hair up and go to sleep like this because I sleep on my side it doesn't really bother me so much I'm gonna literally gonna sleep like that take off my makeup now wash my hair in the morning and then use my new scalp serum and give that a go good night Lucy. morning mother hi sweetie how are you good how are you good thanks Junie good thanks what are you doing I've got the painter here, he's painting the outside door. I'm gonna try this now. The Mon Pure Follicle Boost Serum. It's kind of a cream color, which is funny. But anyway, it says apply it once per day on sections of your hair and massage it into the roots and do not rinse out. I'm gonna take pictures of this. I'm quite excited because this is exactly the kind of thing that I need. Maybe I'll start on this side of my hair. My hair is kind of air drying now, almost there. I'm just doing my makeup and I'm eating my favorite granola, Ellie's granola. I got three bags last week and this is the last bag I have. It's a chocolate bag, which is my favorite. So I save it till last. She makes it in her kitchen in London oh, and it's just so good. But it doesn't last me long at all. 
By the way, I'll um I'll link her down below if you want to check out the best granola ever. Yeah. Unclear if that was drool or milk. <laughs> Guys, can I say one thing that I'm not into? I'm really not into this like whole new thing I'm seeing online of blaming 2020. I really don't like this like blaming mentality. I just keep seeing so many, so many memes about blame 2020, hate 2020, sorry for all the things we said about 2019. And like, first it was funny and now I'm like, you know what, we can't all be victims and blame the year 2020. Like, as terrible as it has been, we need to be able to find the good things that have come of it, the lessons that we've learned from it, what we're going to take with us into 2021. I don't know what you think, but I feel like at first it was funny and now... I'm not into it. I feel like we should all be lifting each other up, being more positive about this year, trying to find the good in every day, the more positive things, the things to look forward to, the things that excite us, even if it's really challenging to find those at times. I don't like this whole like, let's just all sit in bed and call 2020 a day now. You know, like that's, that's not really fair on 2020. We still have two months and a half left of this year and a lot can happen in two and a half months. And I feel like we should all, enjoy it as much as we possibly can so that's where i'm at on those and i wanted to put that out into the world because i feel like all i'm seeing day in day out are all these memes about how much everyone hates this year and 2020 sucks and christmas let's just call it christmas now and like even i've seen like a couple of brand campaigns about like screw 2020 and stuff and i'm like why and i know there are, there's a lot of bad things to say about 2020 we all know that but surely we should be trying to focus on the good lifting each other up and not letting the bad energy from 2020 drag us down and make the rest of 2020 worse than it needs to be i'm totally open if you think differently let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to see what you think. Just go and put my lips on. This is the lipstick I'm gonna wear today. This is 481 from my Dior kit. I'm gonna pat this on the lips. I love this color. I wore the lighter one last night, so I feel like I need to wear the darker one today. Just gonna blend that into my lips. Still on that topic, why don't we start something a bit more positive in this comment section? And why don't you share something that you're really enjoying at the moment. Oh, oh no, oh no, I have a better idea. Why don't you share something good that has come of 2020 for you? I'll share mine, okay? I'll share mine. For me personally, the best thing that's come from 2020 is the, I have two, actually, I have two. One is the appreciation for being outdoors that I have. I, I've always loved being outdoors and going for walks, I walk my dog, but this is different. This is like appreciation for the different seasons and looking at the trees, seeing how they change, going out every day with fresh eyes and being grateful to go for a walk every day because at one point we weren't really able to go for more than one walk a day. And that was really unclear and uncertain how much we were allowed to go outside. That's my number one. Number two is the new eyes of gratitude that I have since the beginning of 2020. I feel like I have a different outlook now because of all the things we weren't able to do. So now anytime, like even last night when I was vlogging Guy and someone came over to say hello, I'll leave the full clip in. Someone came over to say hello and I was like, oh my God, hey! And like, I'm not friendly with this person. I've known them for a while, but just bumping into someone, the luxury of being able to bump into someone and say hello, just felt so special and I'm so grateful for that and for that new outlook of of almost feeling like very childish again and being so excited at the prospect of bumping into someone and saying hello how are you it wasn't a particularly interesting conversation it was literally like hi how are you how's it going are you having dinner who are you with cool like have fun have a nice night but being able to bump into someone and say hello having that newfound gratitude for really simple pleasures that's mine. So anyway, share yours down below. They can be literally, they don't have to be as deep as that. I got, I got deep there, I got deep. They don't have to be as deep as that. We can do fun things. Like I learned how to make banana bread, you know? Got a table outside at Chuck's, which is so beautiful and cute. I love it. Thank you. Little mirror here. Hi, <laughs> there I am. I'm just waiting for Naomi. And we're about to have lunch together and Chuck's do my favorite 
made gluten-free pasta. So I'm so excited. It's pasta lunch day today. I'm here with Naomi. I'm so excited. Same. So good to see you and also the smell of truffle. It smells so good. <laughs> I feel like we're really enjoying like a randomly summer day. Yeah, like, I know. Really it's summer really garden. Today. So nice. <laughs> Love it. You can guess what we're talking about. Just kidding. <laughs> Literally, the stories are so similar. It's crazy. <laughs> I know people are going to ask. That's why yeah, I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> so once I'm home and my hair has finally decided it's air drying this is what we do we put on some hair oil to make it look and feel better this is my hair naturally at the moment air drying I use the Moroccan oil treatment oil it's just the oil that I trust the most it's this little cute little blue one you've definitely seen their packaging around they are probably like the most famous talked about hair oil ever and for good reason this actually by the way is in my new kit which is on pre-order until wednesday so go and have a look in there there are actually two moroccan oil products in there there's 14 products in total two of which are moroccan oil and um, this actual oil i take away with me so much and this will last you i mean this could last you over a year really this tiny little thing i have one in here where are we yeah down here and this one um but i'm almost out of that one i haven't actually shown you my outfit of the day really it's something very interesting i'm wearing this me and m jumper in case you haven't spotted it it's such a great one and these majuri earrings which are so fab but i'm actually gonna end the vlog here because i'm gonna dive into my laptop tonight because i've been out all day and i feel i feel disconnected from my laptop just kidding oh pia oh my god oh she's the best <laughs> look at this i literally left this necklace out and i i know i didn't put it on my necklace stand and i just noticed that pia put it on my necklace stand for me anyway i will see you next week on wednesday for the goddess kit official launch and then see what happens from there. What? <laughs> Very suspicious times.